All right, Shalom. Brother Kabad back in our GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Padash. Double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. And now Shalom, not a sincere argument about the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And those are the one like sincere followers, believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not just hearers of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, I hope for you like Shalom. And the uh, title's lesson somewhere along the lines of watch the company you keep. Okay, you gotta watch who you are around in these latter days, man. And the, and the scriptures tells us about this. You know, here it is, you're 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 you know, trying to get right with the Heavenly Father. There was only begotten Son, you're turning back to righteousness. So therefore you gotta watch the company you keep because a lot of these ninjas, they're not they're not uh they're not trying to seek your how about Shemiah was shy. A lot of these women are not trying to seek your how about Shemiah was shy. They're trying to seek uh the, the, their own wicked pleasures and desires. And it, you know, you don't want them to drag you along with it. The second Corinthians chapter six, verse fourteen. <clears throat> it says, be not unequally yoked to together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? That's right, man. Stock you on a second. All right, stock you, I'm driving. So it says, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You no know, people who are not uh, uh, part of this faith. Who haven't been given this gift so what if you've known this person from childhood so what if, you, if this person is cool all right you, you know you guys go back or you know wherever the case may be whatever relationship you have with a person at the end of the day you gotta you gotta remember you're seeking your your, your own salvation with fear and trembling as the scripture tells us to do all right and if it's not uh, a brother in the truth a brother is part of the ministry they're seeking out such as beings like you. You got you got to cut that time in half, man. You got to really cut that time with these people in the world. All right. What did uh uh matter of fact? Luke 22 and um, 31 says, and, and the Lord said, <clears throat> Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that ye that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. All right, because Satan is looking to sift the elect. Two thirds he already got, you know, uh, sold up, man. They're already doing his bidding. He's looking for the elect to grab up. Okay? And he does it. He, you know, he hops on so-called friends, family members, whoever they, whoever it may be. You know, just try to sift you out. But guess what? The Lord's not going to uh, allow the elect to be sifted, man. Amos 9, uh, you know, it goes into not the least grain falling upon the earth. You know, the, the, the the elect is gonna gonna be delivered, man. They're gonna make it. You know, it's all about separating yourself from this 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 uh current age, man. All right. Um, what's that precept? Um, yep. This is about twenty-seven and twelve. It says, if thou be among the indiscreet, all right, when you go into that word indiscreet, it means the unwise, observe the time. Why is that? Because evil pursueth sinners. Okay? Evil pursueth sinners. <clears throat> As the scripture says, 
It says, Sirach 27 and 12, If thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continu continually among men of understanding. Right? You're supposed to be around men of understanding. Your conversation should be with men of understanding. <clears throat> the understanding of what? The Bible. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's a man you should be around. That you know, that's a, a a woman you should be around. Now you know, like once again, nothing wrong with you know, uh, uh, you know, talking to people. <clears throat> you know, you know, whatever the case may be, hanging out from time to time. But at the end of the day, you know, you gotta watch the time that you're around them, man. Because we're living in the time of heavy judgment coming upon the earth. And you don't want to get caught up in the wrath of Yahweh by Shemuel Let's see here. Yep, it says, no, it says, no, it says no, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I'm going to grab another one. Just a second, as soon as I get to a stop. So bear with me. But, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of uh, that movie, The Bronx Tale, when Sonny was telling uh, Colosolo uh, to stay away from those dudes. There was no good for him. And uh, what ended up happening, his crew ended up getting uh, put to flight, you know, and, um, you know, Sonny was right. And that's what we're saying through the spirit, you know, you, know, you got to uh, stay away from two thirds. So I'm going to jump up. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I didn't want that one. Let's lock it. Uh... What's that other one? Is it Romans? Give me a second. Romans 3. Oh, man. Nah, it's not what it is. Uh, what is it? This is uh, a <clears throat> Sirach chapter 13 verse 16 It says all flesh can sort of according To kind And a man will cleave to his like <clears throat> Right And you know A, a person that's, that's, that's in the world With the mind state of the world A two thirds state of mind They're going to uh, consort with one another Alright But when the Lord calls you in this truth To turn back to righteousness all that has to has has to uh, has to be shortened drastically. All right. Once again, Satan is desiring to sift the elect. Verse seventeen it says, "What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb?" There's no fellowship there. Why? Because the wolf wants to do, to devour the lamb. Come on, Yogi. Just hit this blunt one time, man. You know, you know we're just gonna we're gonna run and do this real fast, man. You know, just just hang hang out with a brother. We ain't seen you in a minute. You know, you know Jake is up to no good. Jake is wicked. Hey, look, you got separated from him, man. <clears throat> it says so the sinner with the godly. There's there, there's no consorting there, man. Because the godly is going to try to correct the sinner. The sinner is not going to want to take heed. There's no point. There's no point. It says, what agreement have is there between the hyena and the dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? So you got to understand where you're at in life right now. Okay? And, 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 and you know... You know, just me speaking as a man, my personal testimony, it wasn't hard. You know, I, I shut guys off, you know, <laughs> quick and then turn back. Why? Because 
the Lord had me understanding how seriousness this 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 faith was, this truth, this knowledge, this understanding. You know, my my so-called friends, because they really wasn't friends. All right. They're like, oh man, you know, you know, such and such change, blah blah blah, this, that, and the third. You know, our conversations was totally different. Mine was about the scriptures and righteousness, and theirs was about plotting on some on, on, on some some other other ish. You know, worldly vain talk. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is this is pretty much a, a, a lonely road. Once again, we're working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. And the conversation and the and the so-called friends of this world will get you caught up to where you're out of here. And that ain't what you want. Once again, something to consider Israel, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostle, Elves the Great Millstone. Shalom.